Now, a doctor found guilty of the gross negligence manslaughter of a young boy in her care has been told she can return to work. Dr Bawagaba was given a suspended jail sentence in 2015 after incorrectly diagnosing six-year-old Jack Adcock, who died of sepsis. And today, his family said the ruling allowing her to continue to care for patients was disgusting. Our health correspondent, Paul Kelso, reports. Jack Adcock was six years old when he died from undiagnosed septic shock at Leicester Royal Infirmary. Junior doctor Hadiza Bawagaba was convicted of gross negligence manslaughter for mistakes she made in his treatment, but today she was cleared to return to medical practice. Sky News was with Jack's mother, Nicola, when the ruling was handed down. Absolute joke. So where's the public confidence? Where does that leave people? Where's the patient's safety? So my son died due to neglect from her and she's allowed to go back to a hospital with a gross negligence manslaughter charge and treat other patients. Absolutely disgusting. What happened here in 2011 has had far-reaching implications and raises profound questions of medical ethics, chiefly this. How should doctors be held accountable for their errors? And should anyone with a manslaughter conviction be allowed to return to work? Dr Bawagaba's backers say she is truly sorry and the decision is the right one. She spent many hours trying to prove herself, look into the errors that she did make, apologise to the Adcock family for her role in what happened. But she wasn't the only one on duty that day and the hospital has a, a lot of accountability here. The case galvanised support from junior doctors who say that wider pressure on the NHS contributed to Dr Bawagaba's mistakes. It's tough to see so many doctors rallying around uh, a doctor who's been convicted of a crime. But that's because when you look more closely into the crime, you can see the factors that led to this happening. And, and a lot of doctors feel like they've been in that situation trying to provide that care. Dr Barwa Garba has made no comment. But last year, after she successfully appealed against being struck off, she said this. I hope that I will be given the opportunity to do what I enjoy, which is looking after sick children. And I know that the lessons that I've learnt from Jack's death will only make me a better doctor. For the Adcocks, promises will never be enough. They might say we're going to retrain her. She might become a better doctor. Well, do you know what? She's been given a second chance. Where's my son? Dr Barwa Garba will return to work under supervision next year. Paul Kelso, Sky News.